Hi, this is Pat Connor from Let'sTalk.com, and we're taking a look at the exhibit 4G from Samsung for the T-Bubble 4G network. You have USB syncing charging cable that'll plug into your wall charger. Micro SD adapter, there's a pre-installed 4 gigabyte micro SD card, and you have a pretty decent uh, included headset here with the um, interchangeable pads there. So the exhibit 4G as I said, is a 4G at a CNET measures it at 21 download megabytes per second download speeds and uh, about 5.76 uh, upload speeds. So pretty fast 4G speeds. They're definitely 4G capable. And uh, you have the uh, TouchWiz user interface uh, from Samsung, but it is Android 2.3, the latest version of Android. So it's a nice combination of the two. So for example, you do get the TouchWiz kind of uh, shortcut buttons here: Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, etc. Uh, but it's a nice uh, Android 2.3 high contrast green on black uh, display there. And uh, as uh, other features of the Samsung TouchWiz are uh, pinched to zoom on the home page, all your available screens here, you have five. You can uh, um, bump that up to seven, as you can see here. And uh, scroll through it here. You can see there's a speedy one gigahertz processor. We're glad to see that on a phone. Um, the screen is a bit small, 3.5 inches. Um, it, you know, it might make uh, web browsing a little bit more difficult. Uh, you might have some, a uh, few more problems with the uh, on-screen keyboard. But um, overall, you know, it's uh, pretty decent. Uh, let's see if we have... So again, we don't have the uh, improved uh, keypad for Android 2.3. As you can see here, there's only Samsung keypad and swipe. Personally, I wasn't too excited with the uh, Samsung keypad. I prefer the uh, Android, especially now that they've improved it on uh, 2.3. So I'm, it's too bad to see that they don't include it here. Let's go ahead with the uh, physical features. On the left-hand side, you have volume rocker and the covered micro SD port. Again, it's uh, pre-installed, and it's uh, hot swappable. Let's see if I can get it out of there. And it's a, uh, yes, it is a four gigabyte pre-installed memory card. I can see it's a class, class two. So, uh, you know, not as good as class four, but uh, better than class, and better than nothing, I guess. So, uh, let's go ahead in the bottom. You have this kind of interesting leather, uh, print here along with your uh, microphone port. You know, kind of a nice little touch there on the bottom. Don't see a lot of phones with that. Uh, going up top, you do have your 3.5 millimeter headset jack. Again, your included accessories will connect to that there. Uh, you have your covered micro uh, D port. I don't know if you're a fan of that, but um, you know, to each his own. And uh, on the right hand side, you have your power sleep wake key. And so let's go to the back. You have 3 megapixel camera. You do have a front facing camera on the front there. Um, LED flash. Let's go ahead and get the back cover off. Microphone port. Here's your battery. Your SIM card actually needs to be inserted right here. This is kind of a nice rubberized finish. Uh, we haven't seen too many phones, especially Samsung phones with that. Kind of a nice feel. It certainly won't slip in your hand. Uh, so yeah, we're happy to see that. You know, overall just really, you know, high quality equipment manufacturing. Very, you know, it's good solid design. You know, won't break the bank with this kind of phone. We're happy to see that. So, uh, so yeah, that's about it for us. We've gone through the included accessories, the user interface, uh, touch whiz. Uh, again, you know, it's fast 4G speeds. Let's do a quick uh, browser test here. Let's go to letstalk.com. And whoops, that's not all what I wanted. Payroll, huh? I wonder what that is. That's for another video, I guess. Letstalk.com. Whoops. Here we go. And again, you do have your little bit of uh, Android 2.3 showing up there with the uh, cut and paste. Let's see if we can do that. Uh, select Word. And you, yep, you do have your cut and paste. It is, uh, you know, Samsung TouchWiz uh, does change the color, but it is there. So we can hit Enter. We're not connected to the internet. I'm going to have to turn on Wi Fi. But uh, I think that's enough for this video. And, uh, you know, we'll be, get a first look video, some comparisons up there with the most recent T Mobile phones. And some other competitors. Uh, you know, subscribe to our channel. Uh, we'd love your support. Uh, let us know what you'd like to see and uh, reach out to us. It's a good way to uh, talk to a, a big company like Let'sTalk.com just through our YouTube channel and other Facebook channels. So uh, let us hear from you and uh, we're excited to hear what you think about the exhibit 4G from Samsung for the T-Bubble Network. Thanks for watching.